In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make Wobble Base in FL Studio. Now, to explain what Wobble Base is, give me a minute here to open up Harmless and find a base and one I like. Okay, here's a base. Pretty synth sounding. Um, Wobble Base is made up of uh, a low frequency oscillator. An oscillate like to move back and forth and low frequency oscillator is like to cut out the lows Simple as that, we've made a simple wobble base. And um, most, I don't know how to, I'm not sure if I know how to do it in this one, but. distorted kind of wobble bass so um, well you don't have to do it in harmless you can do it in a lot of programs but it's just explaining to you what it means to to wobble uh, or what have you now in this next one I'm going to show you how to use the 3x OSC which is a three times oscillator now you just open this up and you'll get this little menu here and you want to click this triangle this square and then or this the this one right here and then this one right here so it's these and then you go to uh, INS instrument and then cut you would turn your mount all the way up and you go down here to the LFO and turn your mount all the way up and here what we've got so far and um what you want to do is you want to put this bus up and you can right click speed and set it to an exact speed. Let's see. And that's how you do that. Um. Now, let's say you wanted to make uh, a song with this. What you do is you hit clone, and that would give you see three X O S C number two and number two, and you would take this one and you would set it to a higher speed. For example, go to piano. This was the first one was. We'll put. I don't know. No, I don't remember what note the first one was, but maybe go to pattern. And then maybe clone another one and have set it to three steps and then put it right click go to piano and that's how you make a simple wobble bass with three X OSC. And then you can go on from there you can um use the effects mixer to uh, add distortion and whatnot. Uh, I guess I'll show that how now. To get to the mixer, you want to open up this channel, make sure your effects, for now at least, has one. And you click this button up here to open up the mixer. And see, this is insert one, let's go to send one. And this is going to be the effect, or the first effect. And uh, distortion, where is distortion? I don't even know. Where the Hang on a second. Ooh. Okay, 
Now to get the mixer to work, you go to send one, you pick the whatever you want, and you go to insert one and adjust the volume so you can hear that you can have four. We made the uh, effect we have on send one, we put it about here. And then. OSC. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do two more wobble bases. Uh, this one hits a default one. You don't need any plugins for it. You just right click uh, one of your in t instruments, replace and sim synth. I'm going to go to piano. That's a little pattern. Now you can, uh, if you if you ever accidentally close out of these, you can just click SimSynth again to open both the instrument itself and your channel settings. And you want to paste that into your playlist, and then press F4. You need to type a name, paste this here, and stretch it out. If you don't have a playlist open, you um click View and Playlist, and that will toggle that. Pattern one, click, click, right click, cut, go to edit events, and we have this little. Oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Click edit events. We have this little guy here. You can see that it goes from one to three in our playlist. In our time segments, so you click this little square. That's the select tool, and go from one to three. Click the arrow. Click tools. And click LFO. And then you want your value and range to be pretty much vertical. You want that to be near the top and that to be near the bottom. I think by default, sometimes it's like this. That to be here. And that to be like this. Right click speed, and for now, we'll just go with one. <laughs> and you can see that's oh, where it is. Now, to um, fine tune, like if you want certain notes to be certain, or certain, I guess notes is what you'd say, certain parts of your wobble to be different speed, you can just highlight that in the timeline and just play around from here until you get what you what you want. Whoa! You don't have to right click and change this. You can manually change it if you want, I guess. Oh, if we made this one like four. Another one. Um, this is the plugin I use the most in FL Studio. It's a program, or it's a plugin called Massive. You can Google it and find it. And uh, I don't actually know how to make um, a wobble bass just from the knobs or whatever. I just like just to make one. Um, cause I've been using it for too long, but it does come with a bunch of presets. Um, actually, the best thing to do, honestly, is just to click this, you know, I'll pick one, and just click an arrow, 
click these arrows and just turn them to like. Since and um, you can also make bubble base. That's what I use for all my bases. But I also use um, presets, plugins, .ksd files. For example, I have a Squirrelixy sounding pack here, and it's got like uh, let's see if I make a good one. I've got another now, let's say for the sake of this example that you found a wobble base you already like. For example, this one. Now, how do you incorporate that into your song? Well, no, that doesn't sound too great, but for the example purpose, it works. And then, um, since this is massive, right, we can't just, like, change the LFO or whatever in here. So what we're going to do is, uh, click make editor thumbnail now there's a lot of things to edit here I mean there's quite a lot and I have no idea what half of these are but to find what you want to edit uh, right click your rate knob oh if you don't see this um, click sync sometimes it's in numbers sometimes it's in a knob you want to be in a knob you want to right click the knob and this one says control modulator 5 rate so if we go over here modulator 5 rate that's that knob. So, edit events. You can do edit events, and that's the little graphy thing I showed you before. Or, here's a new way of doing this: is create an automation clip. Now, you can do this with pretty much everything in FL Studio. Create an automation clip. So, we need to go to pattern one. Put our pattern one in here, and to zoom in on this. Sometimes it doesn't work, like sometimes it, the spectrum of high to low doesn't fit the scale. For example, like see how this drops down here? Sometimes they don't want to go this low, like there's no difference between this. So like once it gets this low, it just doesn't make any noise. So you wouldn't want to use this. But You can see as I played around with it, there's different, many different options. So it, it works. Um, let's see if I can delete some of these points that I don't need. See, it works. Um, that's one way of doing it. I prefer massive for most of my things. It's all really easy to edit. All of the with all of this here, um, especially the LFO is really nice. You can adjust, you know, the the pitch changes quite easily compared to the other ones, and 
the reverb, you know, you can see there's reverb in this one, maybe I didn't want reverb, you just... I can't really hear the difference, but... That's, that's what I personally use the most, is massive. Um, if you want, I could actually open... Let's see... A song I used... Don't know if I used massive on this one. Oh. It loaded massive. So let's see... I'm going to take out all the vocals in this song, because... We don't need vocals for this example of massive. I don't have a lot on this computer, I'm sorry, but Oh, well. It seems to have crashed. Oh well. 